All right, so we had another pretty good day in the markets. Uh, right now, I think as we closed the video last time, we were just short of 20,000. And coming into today, the end of trading, we are at 23,000. So, <coughs> sorry about that. Uh, so, yeah, so it looked like we had a gain of about 1,600, about 7%, 7.5%. If we look at the Dow today, it was up all of 1.2%. So we actually have a five times return on what the normal market was doing today. <clears throat> Specifically, as we roll through, <clears throat> as we roll through all the stocks that I own, they are all up today, all of them. If we go through my watch list, let's see, all of them except for <clears throat> I, I call it ICAGI. This is basically the company that owns British Airways and Lufthansa, RHP, AMC Theaters, uh, VLRS, I think it's an energy company, FANG, which is an energy company, Halliburton, which <clears throat> I always forget what they do, but I remember they were the ones in Iraq in 2003, and Venom, which is an energy company. <clears throat> but as we go back up here, all of the stocks that we had that we own are, are up. Uh, United Airlines is up 23%, Americans up 16%, and I think that's based on the optimism the economy is gonna be starting sooner than later. Norwegian Cruise Lines, same thing. Uh, to roll down here, 28% for Crestwood Equity, that is a real estate REIT that <clears throat> has been performing really well lately. BHR is Bramer Resorts, is up 38%. Uh, SVC is up 16. So overall, yeah, things are going really well. The stocks that I chose a while back are absolutely starting to perform. So let's go ahead to our stock screener. <clears throat> and let's see, let's take a look at our return so far. Everything except for the first three stocks that I bought are in positive territory, and they're very much in positive territory. Starting with Bramer Resorts, we have a 100% return. I think I've owned that stock for maybe a week or two. <clears throat> so we've doubled our money in quick order. Uh, we have a bunch of them over 50. We have two, which is <clears throat> Two Harbors Investment Trust. It's a REIT. It's up 61%. So, and even the stocks that we bought early, earlier, these were like down 60 or 70, and they're moving toward uh, where we want them to go. So... <clears throat> A uh, couple movements we had today. We'll take a look at our candidates today. So again, I plugged in current prices <clears throat> as of the end of the day today. <clears throat> Sorry, just ate some peppers um, and sorted them by upside. So the upsides are not getting as high anymore because the market's going higher, but that's okay. Um, we're not necessarily probably going to get, unless we see a drop in the market, we're not going to see a six-point upside again. <clears throat> But um, there are some good options here. So, I mean, who's going to turn down four to one, right? So these are some ones we had limit, we have limit orders on for Crestwood Equity. That is the one right here. We had one on Invesco uh, Real Estate Trust. <clears throat> so currently that one's at 435. If this one, let's say we, <clears throat> the idea with some of these limit orders, we want to take advantage in case the market has a couple bad days and these stocks go down we want to drive our cost basis down and again for those who are new to this video really the main goal really the primary goal is to try to drive this cost basis down that's the price you pay for a particular share of stock <clears throat> so um, in case it goes down from 4.35 to 3 we're going to take advantage of that and let's take a look. Uh, we decided we were going to add <clears throat> NVLX. This is the one I was a little worried about. That's why I put it in red. But the stock's gone up a lot, and there's been actually some really good press on it. It's got a 100% hold rating, no buy, no sell. And I figured, all right, well, let's go ahead. I think we had it before at 250 or 3, <clears throat> but we'll move it up to 350 because I do want to get in on this at some point. Um, have it at 300 shares. So if this takes a hit down to 350, then uh, we have a good chance on getting this at a pretty good clip. In addition to that, um, <clears throat> Eldorado Resorts, they are buying Caesars Palace. 
So that stock's moved up accordingly. That's why it's only down to 3.77. And I currently have this at, I think, 12.06. Where is that? Yeah, 12.06 is the cost basis. <clears throat> and I'm willing to increase the cost basis to 15. It's not that much because it's got an 80% analyst buy recommendation. And I mean, obviously, when you have a merger like that on the horizon, you want to take advantage of it advantage of it as much as possible. <clears throat> uh, beyond that, uh, we took a look at Signet Jewelers and that one is down to, oh, I put 6.50. That one is currently, uh, let me just plug this in and get the current share price for that. $8. <clears throat> so that one's at a three and a half ratio and that's just not good enough. So I just went ahead, pulled that money, kept it in cash and we'll find a better home for it. And then EVRI, this is the one that does casino, ATM and cash services, 100% buy. I, I mean, I just can't turn that down. So we bumped up the price up to 3.75 and if this goes down from 420, we'll be good to go. So with that said, just kind of the quick updates that we've done so far. We've added EVRI, we've added ERI, <clears throat> uh, we've adjusted NBLX, and we've taken off Signet. So currently we have 5,584 in cash, 17,344 in holdings, total of 22,900, a total gain close to 7,000 for a 41% gain. <clears throat> One last thing we're going to look at here, overall projections. These are our holdings. These are our limit orders, and we're slated to be at about 110, at about 5, 16, 16. And it's basically just because of some of the upward trends we're doing for limit orders. But ideally, we'd like to see the market go down and see a chance to even drive these prices down even further. But 110 is a nice little return. That being said, see you tomorrow. To get more information on the sales cheat code, go ahead and click on the subscribe button below. Also down below in the video description, you know, down there, there's a link that takes you to our website that gives you additional content, some additional freebies that we have, and gives you information on some programs that we have that have been proven to help people to make sales easy so that you can make the kind of money you want, live the lifestyle that you've always wanted, and not have to struggle in the process. And what might be the coolest thing of all is you don't have to put much effort into it. It truly is a cheat code that most people don't know about. And it's a cheat code that can change your life today. So click on the link below and let me help you start to experience these results starting right now.